Welcome to reading. So last session we read a new story called Max's Dragon Shirt and I remember that there was a little boy bunny named Max who goes shopping with his sister Ruby to buy some new pants. I remember that when I was about your age I had a purple and green shirt and it was my favorite shirt. It had a sparkly heart on the front. I wore it all the time when I went to school or when I went to play with friends or even when I was at home. And after a while, the shirt started to get stains and holes because I wore it so much. I was so sad when I had to go and buy a new shirt because I really liked that new shirt, that old shirt. But not only did I get a new shirt when I went shopping, I got a new hat to match it. So have you ever had your favorite clothes that got so worn out and you couldn't wear them anymore? Yeah, I bet you felt a little bit sad, but then you were also really happy when you got to get your new clothes. So, here on the cover we see Max wearing a new green dragon shirt. And remember that Max put on the shirt at the department store. Then he got ice cream stains all over the dragon shirt, so Max's sister Ruby had to buy the shirt instead of buying Max the new pants he needed. We'll try to remember how Max got lost in the department store and how he ended up eating ice cream in the dragon shirt while we read the story today. It looks like Max and Ruby are talking and Ruby said something about Max's pants. So how do you think Max's pants look? Yeah, I think they look a little bit dirty and old and stained. They look kind of worn out. And do you think they're disgusting? Ruby says that they're disgusting. Yeah, I think they're a little gross. It looks like they have some stains on them. Like I said, they're pretty worn out. It looks like he has worn them a lot. And Ruby thinks that they are disgusting. So, Max and Ruby have to go buy Max a new pair of pants. Where do you think that they will go to buy Max a new pair of pants? That's a good idea. I think that they would go to the mall too, or maybe a department store in the mall. So I remember that last time we saw how many things that they sell in a department store. They sell clothes, perfume, appliances. And I know that appliances are normally like a dishwasher or a toaster or a vacuum. So I have a big picture with all of these appliances on it. I see even a blender, I see a microwave, so there's a lot of things that could be sold in an appliance store. So Max and Ruby have to go buy Max a new pair of pants, but it seems like Max is a little stuck on the dragon shirt. So I wonder how he ended up with the dragon shirt on the cover, because in the Right, because right now when they're at the uh, department store, he doesn't have a dragon shirt on. And it looks like Ruby keeps getting a little bit distracted. It looks like Ruby is kind of looking at the dresses, but she's supposed to be looking for new pants for Max. It looks like she sees a red dress that she really, really likes. What do you think Ruby is going to do with that red dress? Yeah, I think she might either buy it or maybe she'll try it on. Hmm, let's see. So it looks like Ruby thought she should try on the red dress just for fun. 
And Ruby's in the change room trying on the dress, but how do you think the dress looks on Ruby? Yeah, I think it looks a little bit too tight or too small on Ruby. And Ruby wants to find a different dress so, though, since the red dress doesn't fit her. So she tells Max to stay in the dressing room. But I think Max is still pretty stuck on the dragon shirt. He still wants to look at the dragon shirt. But Ruby explains to Max that they only have $5. So they have to buy new a new pair of pants for Max because they won't have enough to buy the pants and the dragon shirt. They only could buy one and Max needs new pants. So Ruby comes back with a green dress on. And how do you think the green dress looks on her? Yeah, I think the green dress is too big on Ruby. So how do you think Ruby feels after trying on another dress? This is the second dress Ruby has tried on and it hasn't fit right. Yeah, I, if I was her, I would be a little bit frustrated that sh I can't find a dress that fits right and that I like. So Ruby leaves again and goes to find another dress to try on. So here we see her in a purple dress. And this dress she thinks is ugly. But while she's trying on this dress, it looks like Max, he's starting to get a little bit sleepy and a little tired. And he looks like his eyes are starting to close. I think he might be going to take a little bit of a nap. So what do you think will happen? Because Ruby is gonna go look for another dress to try on, but Max is about to fall asleep. Yeah, this isn't good. Let's see what happens. So Max woke up and look at his face, friends. How do you think Max feels right now? His eyes are all wide. I see his hands against the wall. He looks confused and he looks worried. He looks like he has no idea what is going on. He just woke up from his nap and now he has no idea where Ruby is. He looks kind of like this girl right here. He's scratching his head. He's like, what happened? Where am I? Where is Ruby? He looks very confused. So Max knows that he has to go look for Ruby. But what do you think Max is going to do to find Ruby? I think he's going to look for his her dress color, yes. So when they came to the department store, do you remember what color dress Ruby had on? Yes, I remember she had on a yellow dress. So Max remembers the yellow dress too. So he sees someone in a yellow dress and he starts following the person in the yellow dress because he thinks it's Ruby. But, Prince, do you remember what? other color dresses Ruby tried on today in the fitting in the dressing room yeah I remember Ruby tried on a red dress she tried on a green dress and then she also tried on a purple dress so Ruby might not be in the yellow dress anymore but I'm not sure let's see and find out as Max follows this person in the yellow dress So we know that before Max was in the girls better dress section of the department store, but now it looks like he's in the hat section of the department store. Because remember, he's still following this person in the yellow dress that he thinks is Ruby. So friends, do you remember in the beginning how Max wanted to, what Max wanted to buy instead of the new pair of pants that he needed? Yes, Max wanted to buy the dragon shirt and it looks like he might have found the dragon shirt. How do you think Max feels that he finally found the dragon shirt that he was talking about before? Look at his face. He looks like he's smiling at this dragon shirt. Yeah, I bet he's pretty satisfied or happy that the fact that he found this dragon shirt that he's been talking about all day. So I remember that Max only has $5 to buy a new pair of pants. And I wonder how much the dragon shirt is because I don't know if Max will have enough money to buy the new pair of pants that he needs and the dragon shirt. So Max is still following this yellow dress, 
But finally, the girl in the yellow dress turns around and Max realizes that it's not Ruby. Oh no, it was a teenager. And a teenager is someone who is between the ages of 13 and 19. But Ruby isn't a teenager. So Max screams, ah, how would you feel if you were Max right now? Look at his face. I see that his hands are on his face. He looks like his mouth is wide open. Yes, I would feel pretty shocked because he thought that the person that he was following was his sister Ruby and it's not. So he is so, so shocked. He looks exactly like this boy right here. He has his hands on his face, his mouth is wide open and his eyes are really, really big. Oh no, Max, I don't, Max is so shocked. So I would also feel pretty worried if I were Max too because he still can't find Ruby and now he is in a completely different part of the department store than where he and Ruby were before. So Ruby heard Max scream from across the department store. She rushed back into the changing room in Girls Better Dresses section and she sees that Max is gone. Because remember, Max is all the way in boys' sports sportswear. So how do you think Ruby feels? Yes, she looks worried and concerned. Max is younger than Ruby, and he's lost in this big, big department store, and Ruby has no idea where he went. So Ruby starts searching everywhere for Max, but he, she doesn't see him anywhere. If you were Ruby, where would you go to look to see where Max is? Yeah, we know that we would go look in boys sportswear because that's where he was last, but Ruby doesn't know that. Ruby went down to the makeup section to look for Max, but he isn't there. And then Ruby also went to the appliance section. So I remember we talked about appliances in the beginning and how an appliance can be a lot of things. It could be a vacuum or a stove or an oven or a blender. And it looks like this guy has a vacuum in the appliance store. And it looks like there's a lot of sales associates or people trying to sell their products to Ruby, but Ruby isn't getting distracted this time like she was with the dresses in the beginning. This time she is focused on finding Max. So, Ruby went up the escalator to boys sportswear. That's where I think Max would be. But do you recognize um this lady right here? Yes, friends. We saw her earlier. She's the sales associate or the sales lady and the person who works at the store. The sales associate hears Ruby screaming for Max and she asks who Ruby is looking for. Ruby explains to the lady that she is looking for a boy in blue pants. But the lady didn't see that Max's blue pants. She saw Max's green shirt. Did Max have on a green shirt when he came into the department store? No, Max didn't have on a blue shirt when he a uh, green shirt when he came into the department store. But I do remember that Max tried on the green dragon shirt. He tried on this shirt. So maybe he still has the green dragon shirt on. And that would explain why the sales associate knows that she saw someone in a green shirt. So the sales associate explained how the boy with the green shirt, who was Max, was looking for his sister in a yellow dress. And I remember that the girl that Max followed was wearing the yellow dress. So we see here that Ruby changed back into her yellow dress because Max only remembered her yellow dress. He didn't remember that she tried on a purple dress. So Max wasn't looking for other dress colors. He was only looking for yellow. So Ruby put her yellow dress back on and it was super nice of the lady. It looks like her and the lady are going to go find Max. And it was super nice that the sales lady is trying to help Ruby. 
There Max is. He's right there. Oh my gosh. How do you think Max looks right now? Yeah, Max doesn't really look like he's too worried. He actually looks pretty happy and kind of content right now. He is sitting next to two policemen and the teenager in the yellow dress. It looks like he has ice cream all over his face and his shirt. But friends, do we remember if Max paid for the dragon shirt that he has on? No, I don't think he did either because I don't remember seeing him buying the dragon shirt. But he has ice cream all over the shirt and it's stained now. So Ruby has to buy the shirt now because the store can't sell it with ice cream stains all over it. And the shirt is $5. And I remember in the beginning that Max and Ruby only had $5 to buy Max a new pair of pants. So she doesn't have enough to buy both. She has to buy the shirt since it's already stained and the store can't take it. And Max knew it too. How does Max look right now? Yeah, he looks pretty satisfied. He looks exactly like this guy right here. He looks like this pig. He, his, eyes are closed, his eyes are open and he looks like he has a big smile on his face and he is pretty excited to have that dragon shirt. He got his ice cream and his dragon shirt. So friends, we found out how Max got lost in the big department store and how he ended up getting the dragon shirt. Max may have not gotten the new pants he needed, but Ruby had to use the money to buy the dragon shirt since Max stained it with ice cream. Friends, I hope you enjoyed reading with me and I can't wait to see you next time.